This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA, for the awesome cast. Video producer, podcast producer here, and country traveler that my my trips have just ended. I've just gone back from the internet wastelands of Nebraska, which actually had really good internet at in those dorms uh, at Nebraska University. Uh, go Huskers. Uh, go Big Red. I don't know. They have too many names out there. But anyways, we got a crew with us today. First of all is uh, the gadget guru at Big Bank International Esquire. It is John Chichilla. Hey, how's it going? You're, you're good. You're you're made in the shade over there. I'm, I am in the yeah. shade. My, my, but my black dress pants are in the bright sun oh man i'm baking down below. Like, this is you can tell that these guys have been doing the That's podcast really like, they're just like oh it's so sunny oh my pants are so hot oh why does that camera look that way why is my microphone not upside down like we what why is it not not attached why don't Jeez. we have a drone yeah why don't we have an in-studio drone because that's a good idea could, John, could you get that? Could you get that noise like out of the background if we did have one? What noise and the the, the, the drone noise? Yeah, I mean, eventually, I mean, probably. I have filters. Yeah, I'm, I'm bringing. Sure. I'm bringing I mean, the Iron Man drone. Oh, no, oh, yeah, actually, you should. You you, you <laughs> definitely should. Just in general. Um, <laughs> also, with these, Ron Krauss is with us. Also doing computery things at Big Bank International. Hi, how are you today? Hi. We should just like credit you from another Big Bank International Plus. John, Big Bank <laughs> International's fine. You know. we, sure. we, Patrick Johnson in the uh, in the uh, chat is also from Big Bank. Oh, jeez! Oh, Whoa! Look at that. We should see how many big bankers we could get on one show. On one show. On one show. <laughs> big bankers. That's, that's not what. That's not what you. Th- what it sounds like it means. I don't hey think. Now. And also, we got uh, producer Missy on the uh, ones and twos in the back, uh, trying, trying, shaking her head. Probably sighing a lot. That's why she doesn't have a microphone. Um, also, also, um, um, Apprentice Michael is here. Lean in the shot there. Hey, there he is. He's hanging out here. He's learning how to pocket. He's wearing sunglasses. <laughs> His sunglasses are so bright. He's wearing shades. Uh, but anyways, uh, no, he's been hanging out here learning what we do around Sorgatron Media to do for your own podcasting uh, uh, ventures as well. So. Uh, he'll be he'll be around here for the next couple of weeks uh, on Tuesdays, I believe, right? Hanging yes. out with us. I know I know you've been hanging out uh, 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 Thursday mornings when we do the Pittsburgh Current podcast. So a lot of fun stuff there. But anyways, this is the Awesome Cast. You can check us out at awesomecast.com. You can also email us awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com. That's where you'll hit up producer Missy if you're interested in being an in studio guest like uh, Michael here. You 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 might not st- we might not sit you quite as close. As he is right here uh, to be. I, I, we have a bubble thing going on, but he's in learning mode, so he's allowed to be in the bubble. Uh, and also, if you're interested in any advertising opportunities here on the Awesome Cast, please also hit up producer Missy at awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com. Hit us up on the social media. Tweet us at Awesome Cast, Facebook, uh, Awesome Cast, and the Awesome Cast group. Also, you can subscribe and rate us on your favorite podcast app, and you can watch it on your uh, Facebook and YouTube as well. You can just ask, and you can also ask your Google Home and your uh, Amazon Echo, I almost said the other word, uh, to listen to us on, you know, tune in or Google Podcasts, whatever you might have connected. Where, also, where, where are you going to say Cortana? I No, I was going to say um, A-Train, the A-Train ah, word. okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I just listened to uh, a Google Podcast today, uh, Material with Andy Anako, mm-hmm. um, uh, and, and he said the hey G word, like... Not in context, but he just said it in general, like when they were just talking about the company. And then the per- they bleeped it. And then she said, hey, please bleep out that hey G word. Like she's, they bleeped him saying it, but not her saying it. And I'm like, wait a minute. 
wait That's a minute. That's interesting. So how I don't come, know what that was about. How but, come no one's ever scared to say Cortana? Nobody's scared yeah. to say Cortana <laughs> or Hey Bixby. That's another one. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, also, you can. Uh, we're here live every Tuesday around about 7 p.m. Eastern. It depends on how the sun is coming through the window <laughs> at this point. Um, and if we can, we can get a uh, uh, chill in the shade and not bake his pants. And you know, you failed then. Yeah, we failed. We have, it, it's 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 he's baking. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go to like five Down below. below. I'm, gonna get, I'm, I'm gonna get like a, one of those. Go to one of those like five dollar stores <laughs> and just get you a bunch of the deals. car windshield things with the bathing suit and <laughs> 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 sunglasses. That would be great. Well, they have the one that's like the Star Wars crew inside the go. inside the Millennium Falcon. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Um, also, uh, what the heck are we talking about here? Uh, joining 7 p.m. I said that part. Uh, also, thank you to our streaming partners. Check out the local listings on RiversEdgePGH.com and the405Media.com to see when they do carry this show. If you want to check us out there and other content that they may have on those channels. Um, also, thank you to our Patreon supporters at Patreon.com slash AwesomeCast. I'm going to try to get you guys some gold this week i know we didn't have any last week uh we might just talk about ninja turtles i don't know we might just play ninja we should really should just play ninja turtles and post that you guys will probably have a lot of fun with that but uh i don't have the right computer set up uh thank you to our friends at the coffee club five dollar level you guys get the golden the extra content matt weller john diggy DeGore, and john carmen as well as well as our longest patreon supporter at patreon uh, at the Fanless Show $1 level, Michael Fedor. Uh, thank you, everybody, helping keep the lights on here in the studio. Patreon.com slash AwesomeCast if you guys also want to contribute to the show. So now, <laughs> now it is time for our awesome things of the week. And Chili... Chili? Chili? Damn it. <laughs> wow. Am I, I the, am I the warm, spicy... I mean, yes. <laughs> You're wearing red? You're wearing... <laughs> So chili, um, chili chilla, uh, what, where you want, you want friends is your awesome thing of the week, apparently. <laughs> well, it's funny because I think I'm the only one with an awesome thing of the week. But hold on, said, give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, actually, for anyone who has been living in a cave, um, or on Android Q, or, or on, on Android, Android Q, Q, um, Harry Potter Wizards Unite launched last. Thursday evening, a, a couple, a few hours early from their original launch plans. Um, I have been having a blast with it. In fact, I think in about two to three hours, I was a level three and now I'm level 11. Um, it's a lot of fun. It, it doesn't have the growing pains that I felt like I experienced with Pokemon Go. Really? Well, it, well also, you, but the, it's had Pokemon Go. It's had Pokemon Go as its base for how long? Yeah, and, and this is the same company. Yeah, it's the same company, not Niantic. The, the thing that I will say caught me a bit off guard, I feel like we grew with Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm. So you were catching Pokemons and you were visiting gyms and, and that whole thing early on. Um, I, it, at the beginning of Pokemon Go, right, you couldn't even drop off a character to stay at the gym, right? trying to remember that far back uh, i think you could there was something you yeah, couldn't could, do you it, it operated a lot differently if i recall like uh you couldn't i don't think you could all team up on it and it would see maybe okay like it, yeah there were more features there's a there's a certain they, they, they've definitely evolved that yeah. and added things along the way oh absolutely i will say to me that gives the wizards unite a little bit of a learning curve like you have to collect foundables which are like how you cast spells and it's like catching the pokemon but you also have to collect ingredients for potions and then mix them in a cauldron and if i wouldn't have seen a tweet with a bunch of pre-built um gestures i didn't even realize you could tap the spoon on the cauldron and then do finger gestures on top of it to then speed up you have to know what the codes are. Oh, well, they're pushing this big because it is. It, there's a giant article on the front of the App Store right now. Oh, geez, I'm installing it on my iPad now. <laughs> oh, here we go. Um, the other thing is there are the castles where you can do the battles. You can't drop anything off there. You just mm -hmm. they're they're wizarding challenges. Then there are greenhouses where you can grow seeds you found or um you can pick a plant every five minutes and then there's inns 
where you can get food, mm-hmm. which equivalates to wizard energy, mm-hmm. which then lets you keep... It's the equivalent of Pokeballs. There's not okay. three different kinds, but... Um, so this is... So here's the question I have. Um, Pokemon got me into it. It was the first of its kind. It had me interested. Uh, you know, had a nice skin over it because... Uh, not. Uh, what was the first one? Ingress. Ingress was interesting, but couldn't capture my attention. But look, yeah, it looked Pokemon, like a Commodore sixty four. Right, Pokemon did, Asteroids and I King. was only moderately into Pokemon. Like literally, the only thing I loved playing was Pokemon Stadium on the N sixty four. Right, um, I am moderately. I've watched the movies. I'm like, okay, I'm not a super Harry Potter fan. Do you do you recommend me giving this a shot? I would give it a shot. I'm not a super huge Harry Potter fan. Okay. Um, now, if this were to be like Star Wars or like Marvel, oh, gonna say that. there you go. <laughs> like Star Wars, sign me up. I would just yeah. I would spend just days walking the earth. Yes. But <clears throat> the, the interesting thing is, I was surprised. One of the achievements is for catching foundables in multiple countries. That's actually one of the achievements that they want you to earn. I'm like, yeah, that's oh wait, not so the, the achievement is to get to different countries. Yeah, you have to. Catch. I'm still, I'm still absolutely pissed that I never thought to play Pokemon Go the ten days I was in Thailand. What? I didn't have. Well, you, you only had internet on the Wi-Fi, but still, still? I could have done the hotel or something, yeah. right? So, yeah, I'm that that. Think bo- of all the weird gift things you could have gotten. I at least like I'm not I'm not playing it all that often but when I'm in like Nebraska or Minnesota for my layover right I at least log in once mm-hmm. get some stuff you always send me a once, gift thank you and I send you a gift to show you look where I've been Chilla look where I've been here's this weird thing with 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 a statue of a fox from Minnesota St. Pa- St. Paul St. Louis airport whatever I didn't I can't tell you where I was the last couple of days, um, but here you go, Chilla. Here you I, go. I was surprised. I was surprised at how many, like, how many people, how many of my friends on Facebook posted friend codes, like, within hours of launch. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And how many people were just all over Twitter? I I had twenty friends in the matter of like three hours. Um, so if you want to be my friend, my friend code is seven eight eight zero. Six five two nine seven three five nine. One more time. <laughs> seven eight eight zero six five two nine seven three five nine. Drop that on half speed so you get that. <laughs> um, this is producer Missy put it in the chat. Oh, put it in the chat. Yeah. I'm sure maybe should... maybe maybe Sword can add it to the um the the description on the podcast. Oh jeez. In wow. iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker wherever you get your podcast. Well, I'm accepting all the all the wizarding privacy policies right now. Let's see. And the other thing that yeah, I thought was interesting okay. too, to, right. to shorten download time when you're out and about, mm-hmm. um, if you go into the settings, there's a download all artifacts button, which will actually like preload all of the content down really? to your device. Really? So I thought that I, I wish they would have given you that option while you were setting the game up. Like I uncovered it. By going into settings and finding it. I don't remember an introductory video like this uh, when I opened up my Pokemon Go. And the other interesting thing is their animations are, to me, the the, the boot animation on the game is is pretty darn cool. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, so, it's like this owl yeah, flying in. If it gets past the loading screen. Well, if you're not running Android. Uh, the non-awesome <laughs> thing for uh, Krauss. Yeah, that's my non-awesome thing. Is, it's not running on your Android, Android Q, Q, which yeah. is in beta right now, right? Right. Okay. I mean, well, it's beta... F- Four? Well, so we're good. not just, a release just watch yet, this so. live well, it'll, it'll run on ios live beta vicariously one. there's there's my there's my purple wizard how did they know oh stay safe I, there's my purple wizard right outside of sorgatron media studios uh just hanging out oh hey there hello if you friend me uh-huh I, I want to see what i look like because i actually set my avatar to be tony stark <laughs> i don't want to do this oh really <laughs> And I want to see what I, it looks like for others. I'm going to be in so much trouble not reading this later, aren't I? No. Oh, I need to tap this thing. Oh, I'm going through a tutorial now. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm just kind of allowing everything right now. Yeah. Oh, no, I turned turn the camera on. on. Oh, geez. What's those privacy settings? Yeah, uh, whatever. We'll figure that out later. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so there's that. And, oh, yeah, I did turn it on. And now there's just like an image of the floor for some reason. Uh, am I looking for things? So is this like, is, is it going to be like... You know, is a lot of the Fantastic Beasts are in it? Is is that yes. what I'm kind of... So there's, there are, and I'm 
by no means people are gonna. So like, do you think there's gonna be like movie tie-ins and stuff? Don't. Oh mean yeah. That. I mean, uh, like I mean, the, I've the, seen people with Detective Pikachu shirts. Uh, like in, in the in, in the, the registry, there's like Hagrid's hut, the pumpkin patch, Borgen and Burke's nocturne alley fallen ministry atrium like all of the oh hagrid's like, in the studio look at that there he is the moving staircases the great hall um the legends of hogwarts is the room of requirements the potions classroom so like when you collect things mm -hmm. they go into each one of those and, okay oh, and then yeah, you can prestige he them oh there, there he is. is there he is he's just hanging in my studio what's up hagrid i'm glad i have high ceilings in here <laughs> there you go. Now he's talking to me or something. And there he goes. Oh, you, fa it. you failed that cast. You I failed, failed that oh, cast. Oh, no, it was good. Oh, it was returned. It was good. I'm all right. I'm all right. There we go. Oh, Hagrid. Hagrid is... Like, he's, you freed him. You freed him. I threw, uh, the, in my mind, I threw Hagrid into a Pokeball. Uh, <laughs> 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 I was translating this is going to be very rough for me. Hey, speaking of video games, my awesome thing is uh, we were playing it beforehand. Um, I, I saw this article just last night. Um, and uh, we know I am a fan of the Ninja Turtles, and uh, we there there was a, a fan game called Ninja Turtles. Um, um, what was it? Rescue Rescue Palooza, and somebody and, and this is on a uh, this is on a website called GameJolt.com that I hadn't heard of before. It's kind of like Steam, but it sounds like it's a lot of kind of user made games. Um, mostly, most of it's original content if you go to the front page, but this, uh, uh, Merso X is making a lot of kind of, like, there's a Thundercats game in here, there's a Karate Kid game in here that, that, that was a lot like the NES game. So, they took a lot of, a lot of the elements from the arcade games, remixed them with levels from the NES, and even Game Boy, I think it said, um, and there are up to 60 characters in this thing. It looks fantastic. It plays pretty decently, like fairly faithful to the originals, it feels like. Um, and again, like you'll see stuff from like the NES and we're like, I know this level, but it's got way better graphics because they, they, they made it like kind of more um, arcade eyes. Like I guess it said 60 characters, everything down to like the secretary from the TV show in at Channel 6. Um, April O'Neil is a playable character in this, you guys. Um, There's a Marvel Infinity War. What? Oh, is there some, really? There's a Marvel Infinity War, and they made it for both Windows and the Mac. Ooh, but this is a this is a PC download. Um, we we booted it on an old HP uh, touch screen uh, computer, all in one computer, and it played pretty great, guys. Uh, connected a couple controllers, and and it, it was pretty good. Um, there was like one of those like we were playing. One of them was a, the, one of the snow levels from like the NES version of the arcade game, right? Uh, that was you know exclusive to Nintendo, but with better graphics, you know, and sometimes different different bad guys will, will show up or something. But it's it's a lot of fun. So it's free. It's not official in any way, um, but it's a it's a fun little um, project there. And like I said, there's there's just other stuff I think are going to be worth exploring. Somebody made like a Sonic Game Land. Um, there's oh there is a He Man fighting game I just found, and that's the next thing I'm downloading later. Uh, did you ever play He-Man for the Atari? No. It was pretty good. I was so bummed because like my cartridge died when I was a kid. What what are this game is? Um, this He-Man game. They're using like a, the, the, they look like the cartoon graphics from Filmation. In it. So what is what's the oh, legality wow, behind these though? Because no one's paying for the. Uh, technically it's a fan game and is it like fan fiction there yeah i think that's the level we're on it's a free download they're not make, they're make, it's they're they're stating it as not for profit um and i think it's kind of like the um it's kind of like the uh you know i can make a star wars fan movie as long as i don't make money from it and like lucas arts was completely okay with it i don't know about disney necessarily yeah, but they have like he-man in there Dude, this is the graphics. You can look make great. A, you can make a Star Wars movie as long as you don't have Luke Skywalker. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but you have like stormtroopers and things. But this is He Man. This, this is like straight up He Man. Yeah, this is great. Also, I may have completely read the uh, thanks, Missy, for pointing out the He Man crossover with Injustice uh, comic book, as well as the and that led me back to finish the um, He Man and Thundercats crossover. Uh, so, which are all DC properties. So, it's there's a oh, I screen capped this. I wanted to share this. There was a scene of He Man as Clark Kent at the Daily Planet, 
That was pretty great. DC um, needs all the help it can get. DC does. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're doing a, they're doing fine on everything but on the, the CW. Movies. Come on, let's be yeah on the CW. <laughs> I need to catch up to that stuff. Anyways, I just discovered that we're gonna mark that for Lady Ron Krause. What is your awesome thing of the week? I don't have one. What? I had a non awesome awesome thing. Of nothing. The week. Nothing. None of the stories. No. None, no, nothing is is, is t- tickled your fancy in the in the <laughs> in the world of. <laughs> Whatever. Well, other than the fact that John got me all hyped up to play that wizarding game, and then I couldn't load it because I'm on Android Q beta, but that's about it. <laughs> How is that Q beta going uh, in all things? Actually, I have to tell you, it's pretty good. Uh, this is the first thing I found that failed. So, yeah? yeah. Okay. That's, that's I, I pretty good. I can't really, don't really have any complaints good, other than good. that. Well, it will, hopefully later in the show we'll compare betas. <clears throat> so uh excellent so um really nothing you got nothing no, else no. okay well you're gonna play ninja turtles with us later okay so, okay <laughs> well in the meantime you know what is awesome is uh that pizza from slice on broadway supporting pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza for a good long time at beachview carnegie pa east end and pnc park home of the pittsburgh pirates uh we've seen them grow from one location to to all of these, and of course, uh, we've got stickers a couple weeks ago that don't even have their most recent location on there. That's how that's how fast they're growing. Um, so uh, go check them out, sliceonbroadway.com. You're in the area probably, and you can check them out over there wherever you are in the four corners of the uh, city. Are there four corners of the city? Sure, whatever, I guess. Uh, so uh, go check them out, sliceonbroadway.com, uh, pgh underscore slice on the Twitter. Uh, Dave Potter calls this countdown to takedown notice. There's a lot of stuff that can be taken down over on that site right now. Um, like there's about every, every, every beloved property has a game. Uh, the Thundercats game is kind of so-so. I'm going to put that out there too. Uh, but anyways, we do have... Um, a lot of stuff, uh, more video game stuff uh, from the local connection here and uh, over on the on the Facebook. Um, oh, hey, remember when Chachi used to do a website? Remember Chachi used to play games? Remember, yeah, yeah remember Chachi plays. Yeah, Chachi plays. Used to play them for kids. Well, he's back to playing an old project that he used to do the, on his website. Uh, Chachi says he's back. Chachi says dot WordPress dot com because somebody took the thing and wants a lot of money for it. Uh, but he he. There was a book of a thousand and one games to play, and he's um, back. He's taking another shot at the thousand and one games. You can go check out. He just posted the first one, Star Fox sixty four. This week he's back at it. Uh, Chachi says dot wordpress dot com. If you want to go check that out, so he's uh, playing all the games and he's writing up on it. So go see what he has to say as he's uh, revisiting a lot of these. It, it was like a thousand and one games you must play was the uh, book that we were. 1001 video games you must play before you die. Yes, I have a copy of that as well. I did not get nearly as far as he did. Do you have, do you have the picture he has that was on, I think it was on Facebook last hmm. Thursday or Friday night? He got all the retro oh, USB controllers. The thing. Yeah, so he set up a retro pie. Not a retro pie. He set up a... a uh, what, what do you call it? It's it's an old, it's an old, it, it's, it's it's an old laptop. It's the software that RetroPry runs. Okay, it, the the game station, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's running it on an old laptop, running I think Ubuntu or something. Okay, uh, so he threw Linux on it. He's playing this, and he, yeah, so he got a pack, and it's got an NES, Super Nintendo, Genesis, PlayStation, and N sixty four controller, all USB. Nice. So, but again, same thing like we just had to do with that Ninja Turtle game. You got to set them all up. Mm-hmm. And the N64 one is really tough to set up because it's got a lot of stuff going on with the uh, analog and everything, right? The analog, you got the Z button down on the yeah, bottom. It's yeah, like the trigger. Yeah. I missed that controller. Yeah. So now it's like, hey, man, I could use that for my RetroPie. <laughs> <laughs> my RetroPie has been, uh, speaking of RetroPie, um raspberry pi 4 came out yes it did i have a link down at the towards the bottom okay we'll talk about that wait we'll talk about that later okay let's let's stay local for the moment uh port authority launches the connect band pilot program uh kraus you had some not awesome thoughts on this already yes (laughs) (laughs) who wants to wear a it's bright blue band on your arm just to pay for the bus sure give me a phone app give me one less thing to lose Um, you know what you know what they should sell Mm. An Apple Watch band. There you go. That, that I would buy. There, listen, now that listen, makes more sense. It is likely cheaper to 
distribute an RFID band than to create an app. We already is basically. But I'm just, saying, give me a watch band for my Apple yeah, Watch. Or my get me a band band that has it in it. Port Authority, if you'd like consulting, sort or Krauss and I's hours. That's hey, right. tweet, honestly, tweet the CEO. I, yeah. I yelled public service with an interview with it. With it. Also, also talk uh, talk to her about Star Wars. You'll really get her attention. Um, but no, seriously, she's been very responsive, at least on social media. And, and Dave Bodner says they're working on an app. They're working on an app. Good, 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 good. Um, that's it yeah. Probably won't work on Android Q, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, Kraus. See how it is. Sorry, Kraus. Um, but no, that's the way to go, right? I mean, I, I think like there could be a watch app in the future. I mean, if they're yeah. already using RFID, there's no reason why not why this wouldn't work, right? Yep. Um, a side note to that. Um, this was I did. I don't think I mentioned this. I mentioned the RFID bands for the drivers at the Formula races. So I don't know about that one. The, the they have to have so many drivers. I think like four drivers for the entire weekend because they they get two drivers per some of the events, and drivers aren't allowed to to drive more than X number of events. Um, so X, X numbers of events or X number of hours on consecutive uh, no, it, days. It, uh, X number of tries let's okay. say like try one in autocross or try two in in this and then tr- you know try two in skid pad or something right like they only do like two or three or something right and, and so that that's the way they regular and make sure people aren't over you know over overworked for the weekend something like that right so in order to manage that um they gave all the drivers rfd bands kind of like this and when you check in and i have footage uh, that i'll be putting in the in the um uh, highlight videos um, that I was working on one for Michigan formula yesterday. Hopefully I'll be up this week. Um, so they are using a phone and they're, they're, they're checking that when they check in the driver meetings to make sure they're at the mandatory driver meetings, they can check in that. Okay. This person was at the driver meeting. They're good to go on this track, right? They mm-hmm. have been there to receive the information. So because before it was kind of on the honor system and now it's, like, they know, hey, you didn't check in at the driver's meeting. We're not letting you on this endurance track. So mm-hmm. kind of a cool cool technology thing they got this year. And we've talked to Mike Zeman um, on the past on Awesome Chat about some of the scoring <clears throat> technologies and stuff that they're doing. So a lot of fun stuff. And, then, and they're the, also the same ones that did the um, deer sled that we talked about a few weeks ago on the auto drive uh, competition. Anyways, so I... I th- <sighs> I know it's. I know it feels like it's like three years behind, probably, but at least they're moving forward with something. You know, this is the step forward to this pilot program, and maybe there'll be an app down the road, right? And, and maybe it's just like the step one to getting to the app. Just yeah. getting used to the. Uh, you gotta ease people into it. Everybody freaked out when they said they were going cashless. So I mean, people did. People still freak out about yeah, that. Yeah, people are freaking out. So there's a lot of there's a lot of changes they're doing that that other cities have done. 10 years ago that, that we can't get to yet because of stuff like that. Dave Potter is not happy. A lot of podcasters are not happy. YouTube is killing Hangouts on Air this year. Um, why his note, Why does Google hate us? The sound you hear in, is podcasters scrambling. Um, I, this, didn't we think this was going to happen to us a couple of years ago when we were trying like blab at IM or something that went away? Um, so the idea is go, using Google Hangouts and you hit a button, you, you use it via YouTube and it's an easy way to just podcast from there. It, it's an easy streaming thing. Everybody comes in. You have multi, multiple group video calls. Um, this was a great thing when it came out. We, we used it all the time for shows. It was just how we did some shows. And some big podcasts do that now. This, <clears throat> they, uh, uh, Daily Tech News Show still uses it when they do their show. And that's basically how they record. Wow. They're not doing double enders or anything. They're pushing to YouTube and then they're, then they're bringing that down and rendering it down to a podcast. Um, I can't tell you what can replace this. That isn't going to be difficult or more expensive or costly. Yeah. Or costly or yeah. I, I loop all that in difficult. Um, that's unfortunate. Can't, can't Skype record now. Uh, internally, but not easily just, push it to youtube and oh yeah record. you can't just push it everywhere you'd yeah. have to you'd have to record it and then push it mm-hmm. and upload it everywhere dave fonda saying on the connect band hey man you can have the band out and not have to have another device to pull out and fumble with i got caught a few times trying to forgetting to uh, uh pull out my app when i'm paying for starbucks or trying to get on the plane on delta this weekend i'm just saying sometimes but you still have to pull out the card 
So it's the card or a band. Well, it's a band's already on me. It's just there, man. It's just there. Um. <laughs> Maybe if they make trendy bands, like a slap bracelet. There you go. Oh, slap RFID slap bra- bracelets. Mm-hmm. Count me in. Some black and gold ones with some Steeler logos. Yeah. Yeah. Like bright blue. yeah there we go. All right. This is one my mom's going to be into. Let's go back to video games here for a moment. How about uh, Riz brings us this article about a uh, waiting for it to load a dog petting simulator. Are you ready for this? <laughs> This is a gameplay video. Uh, yeah, it's a, oh, there's a site. There's a I'm sorry. There's an ad for Krypton before this. Damn it! Just killed my buzz. Um, but yeah, it is a hey. You know, there's Goat Simulator. I have a lot of fun with that one. Um, but there is a, this is from Studio Cacti and allows you to pet dogs. Uh, created by students at the Animation Workshop in Denmark. Um, there you go. You're in a dog park and it's a very they're very angular dogs for some reason. But you go pet it. It looked like it was supposed to be VR like. Can I get yeah. this on my VR headset? It would be great if this was... E- Maybe that's the next step, right? Is the, the VR this. And they're petting. And the dog's just looking at you. And he's blinking at you. Like, yo, money. I don't... If you pet the wrong dog, does it bite you? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> can, can, you, can you feed the dog? Will he bite you? He's looking at you. He's looking at you. I think... It's more like arm waggling uh, in front of dogs. <laughs> or waving. Yeah. Than waving at dogs. Yeah, dog waving. Oh, wait, was that a Frisbee? <laughs> there needs to be some more to this. Hello, dog again. Hello. His, tag's, his tail's wagging. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, so thank you, Riz, for uh, sharing that as well. Uh, <laughs> um, and with that, uh, I want to give a shout-out to our friends before we get to some more stories, including... Um, uh, we will talk about some betas and some Raspberry Pi 4s. Our friends at Alex Cars, our friend Alex Cars, uh, K-H-R-S, uh, Alex Cars Design and Media, putting together the puzzle of design and media from branding to printed and digital projects. He can, he can do uh, logos, merchandise, websites, and even photo and video projects. Uh, he's helped us out uh, with a few of our jobs. We've outsourced some stuff to him from Sidekick Media Services in the past. Please go check him out for your needs over at alexcars.media. That's Alex K A H R S da Media for more information. And thanks for supporting the show. And he's usually in the chat room hanging out with us too. So um, let's get back to well, first let's talk about Raspberry Pi. It's more powerful. You have a lot more. Well, it was a two, four, and eight gigs of RAM. Um, dual HDMI outs. Uh, you have USB three. Uh, they said this is this is mostly going to be capable of uh, becoming your desktop if you wanted to be. Starts at thirty five dollars, which seems to be relatively standard for them for starting prices. Is, is this is, you know you looked at this stats, Chilla? Is this is this something that is more powerful that you could see as a you know maybe more than just a Minecraft player? Well, I, I think you get into the Minecraft server realm. You get into mm-hmm. what how far can I take it from an emulator perspective? I don't know how well, like will my N64 games play a little better on this? That's or, where I'm or at right can now. I, can I get to, um, PS2? Mm-hmm. Like how far can I really push this? Mm-hmm. Um, I was pretty impressed with the stats. Could I run multiple things? Could I emulate and run my cameras? Oh boy. Um, so, at $35, I mean, we've always said you could buy a couple of these and just have them doing different things around the house. Or I uh, just have two stacked on my shelf. Yeah. Or have yeah, or, kind of or you could is. use them for bookends. I, Ready I to know. go. Well, one was a one was a, a, a security cam at home and a, and I, I retired that. And the other one was a RetroPie, which I was just throwing in my bag and taking with me on my trips and never ended up using cuz time. Mm. Uh, but but the, that's a good idea. Is that like you know that kind of thing that I can throw on like the hotel TV and just you know have a game of Super Nintendo play action football or something, right? Some excite bike, some excite bike, you know, whatever the case may be. Like it's 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 a ready to go system. So and it's uh, it's pretty much instant on. It's I mean it's all flash storage. So I mean it's mm-hmm. it's a it's a snappy device mm-hmm. does not include um, storage like your your usb key hard drive whatever is going to be your storage right so you have to bring your own there and i but i like that idea because back to the if you instead of if you're 
not using one to like drive a camera or to do something that that all day long. It's kind of like j- just grab, pull out the SD card, put another one in, mm-hmm. and it's a whole different device for a different yeah, purpose. I love that. Um, that. I've seen some people do bootloaders where like when you boot it, it can boot into a couple different different things. Mm-hmm. Um, but all in all, it's pretty darn cool. I like it. Um, I, I dig it. I think I think this is a, a a pretty cool upgrade, and I'd love to grab like you know maybe the uh, wait am I getting this right? Oh, I'm sorry. One gigabyte, two gigabyte, and four gigabytes of RAM at uh, thirty five, forty five, and fifty five dollars. Mm-hmm. Also capable of four K displays yep well, I, I wouldn't push the, a whole lot to that but. but i think of like when you look at what people are probably doing to push content to a big tv just sitting in an elevator lobby or, mm-hmm. or something like that all of the work that goes into that and all of the wiring now you could have this thing tuned into some kind of video stream or some kind of library full of graphics and videos and just have it pump through that you could ftp in there Mm -hmm. swap stuff out um so so it's a powerful uh, device we 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 know about uh ron's ales with a uh, android q beta and the wizard the wizard game um but there is now um the uh os uh, ios 13 public beta this is where we're going to caution you about, and I'm going to tell you a personal story. Okay. About loss. About loss. About loss and regret and public betas. And whoa. And whoa. Well, actually, fortunately, I, I, I lost time. I didn't lose data. Because as always, if you're ever going to go into one of these endeavors, back up your stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, many of us around here probably you know, have all of our photos backed up to Google Photos. We have all of our documents backed up to Drive or OneDrive or Dropbox, whatever you choose. Um, even beyond that, the time, depending on how many apps, if you're an app hoarder like myself, mm-hmm. um, even re-downloading the apps can take hours. Hours, yeah. Um, be, and, and the other thing I will tell you from an iOS perspective is encrypt your backups. Because if you encrypt your backups and you it forces you to password protect that backup, that backup has all your passwords stored in it. So then you don't have to type in your Facebook password and all that other That's stuff. That's what you have last pass for. But that costs money. I'm giving them the free option. So, um, yeah, so encrypt your backups. Make a backup should you need to. Because if you're like me, and and I don't blame Apple at all for this. So I updated from a brand new day one 12.4 beta to the first oh, oh. the first gen public beta of iOS 13. I'm sure they didn't do a lot of testing on that. Yeah, yeah, that's not that's not a usual through <laughs> with, way. With the iPad Pro 11 inch. Okay. Um so downloaded the beta no problem, prepped it, rebooted to install and I got the white logo with the black screen and the progress bar never showed up. Oh, no. Um, So for those of you who might be stuck in that way, um, you can put the device in what's called DFU mode, which Mm -hmm. is you push up, volume up, then volume down, then you hold the power button down for 10 seconds. Without letting go of the power button, you hold the volume down button for five seconds while they're both held down. And then you let go of the power button, but keep the volume down pressed for 10 seconds that will then boot the device in dfu mode i highly recommend it to have it having it already put into plugged into either a mac or windows um, computer um itunes will then pick up that you have a device in dfu dfu mode and say do you want to um restore this device and it will put a fresh back when i jail, when I, back when i jailbroke like a, the original iphone i think i needed to do this like there was home button power button the, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah there was a bunch mm-hmm. of those but i you don't have a home button on the new ipad nope um so yeah there's a bunch of trickery so, so should i should i on your ipad is a yes. question for everybody on the ipad go for it go for it i have it if you're not dedicated to, if you're not like, I need to live off this iPad, you should go for it. So I will be honest with you. There is not one app out of the hundreds of apps that I had to reinstall last night um, that did not work. 
I have had minimal crashes. Mm -hmm. um, and the one thing that I haven't caught to test yet is sidecar with a MacBook Pro. Um, but then you would need to upgrade your MacBook to Catalina, um, which I also did. So fun, fun fact there, there is no iTunes client on that. So when you put it in DFU mode, the device shows up in Finder. Mm. And you click on the device in Finder, and the only option you have is some very minimal upgrade this device, um, restore the device, etc. Okay. And I had to wait for I had to wait for the twelve four or the twelve three non beta to download to install, then to re upgrade. Well, here's a weather question. I have a secondary backup MacBook Pro. Is it from twenty thirteen? No, nope. with the no battery. Oh, no. really? Too old. Man, late. Well, maybe I'll let you know because I have a twenty fifteen. Late twenty, and I think it's. I have the early twenty fifteen. Is your battery okay? The battery's fine. By the way, Dutters is marked safe from the uh, Apple uh, MacBook exploding battery situation. Well, that's good. But I think my twenty early twenty fifteen is too old for sidecar. Mm. So we'll see. For sidecar. But That's where you could wirelessly use well, your... I'm just saying throw the public beta and see what happens. Oh, you could definitely throw the public <laughs> beta on that. <laughs> um, no, 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 just, no, we're just going to throw it on and see what happens. Um, just to see what You'll get the, the, you'll get the Apple is. TV app, the podcast app. Oh, yeah. yeah. No on more my, iTunes. On my order laptop. No more iTunes. You'll get a lot, of, you'll get a lot of apps with question marks over them because they'll no longer run. <gasps> All those ones. Uh, like, video Monkey just gave me that. Photoshop. Which I use to render my videos. CS5. So. Really? Oh, CS5. Yeah. So. CS6 still works. CS6, okay. That's what, that's what so I'm hopefully rocking is now. My, is my Encore CS6 going to work? Yeah, any of the CS6 <laughs> line will work. They have 64 bit. And, and the big thing is 64 bit. Yep, or your apps for 64 bit. Versions. What's that going to do to my games? Is that question. I don't know. Mm -hmm. How many of them are Open AMU bit? still runs. Okay, okay. So I'll be use that to play Splatterhouse from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just thinking anything in Steam. That's that's Mac compatible. No, you're right. So Steam, I got an error. The Steam itself? Yeah, Steam won't oh. launch. And of course, this is the thing that something on the size of Steam is going to crunch at least the main app by then. Well, it's so. interesting because Steam said that they're going to no longer support a, support Ubuntu because Ubuntu is going the same route. I'm like, really? You can't tell me that Steam's not going to do something 64 bit when every every platform is going 64 bit only. It is nice to have a couple non-vital uh, Apple devices that we can throw stuff on. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I might I might hit install on a couple of these things this week and see what happens. I have so. a I have an old Air that can't go much further. Mm -hmm. um, it can't make it to Catalina. It's like a 2013 Air. It's the one you borrowed from. The, the oh yeah, time. yeah, I remember that. I remember um, and then that. I have that old Mac Mini that can't make it. And then all I have other than that is uh, a few like we have a you know iPhone. 5s is hanging around they can't do anything with those yet so they're not they're not going to ios public beta is 13 for sure no their last their last rev is going to be the end of 12 and the 12 yeah. i might you get sure. to 12 4 i'm not even sure if they're up to 12 but you can get them up to 12 i though. can i know yeah, yeah. you can they'll go to 12 yeah so or maybe i'll just leave them there so they can play all the games that are going to stop working here in the fall <laughs> So, all right, we'll see. Yeah, I might, I might try those on the iPad and the old MacBook then. Um, so, no big problems. But of course, this is your first day, kind of going. Yeah, forward, first so. day. I mean, all my, all my photos, all the, the photos app works perfectly for cropping, rotating, etc. I haven't gotten to play with any of the video <laughs> cropping yet. Um, mm -hmm. Dark mode rocks. I really like the widgets on my home screen. Um, no problems with any of the office apps. I didn't try Skype for business yet. That's the one thing I have to try yeah. still. Um, all the apps launched. I don't, I can't, and any of the social media apps work. I, I, well, I didn't have as many problems as I thought I was going to have based on some of the feedback that I've read about. Well, let's go from that to another thing of the future. Um, how about a robot duck? That Ready cleans rice patties. That cleans rice patties. So the idea, he looks like a, he looks like a floating Roomba. He even has two eyeballs. It does not look like a duck. It looks more like a floating kind of Roomba kind of situation, or the AC unit on the top of a Winnebago, I guess. Um, but anyways, yeah. So for apparently for rice farmers, um, ducks, according to Engadget, have been a viable way to keep their crops healthy. 
They destroys weeds, eat bugs, fertilize crops. The idea is it roams the ice, the rice paddies, and muddying the waters, and that prevents the weeds from getting enough sunlight through the water to start growing up and and messing with the rice. So, the robot ducks, man. <laughs> they so, should have made it look more like a duck. Yeah, they gave it Does eyeballs. Does it need to be though? They gave it eyeballs. You want anything more than it doesn't that? even have a beak. It doesn't even have a beak. Jeez. Um, this is being put together by uh, Nissan, of all people, and has an intention to uh, mass produce the robot um, in, the, in the near future. Uh, so I guess it's going to be very helpful for Japan. Look at it go. It's just, it's just floating there, just rolling across, and this guy's going to talk about it by this so nice So it's creek. essentially just churning up the mud? Yep. That's it. Does it have like, so it has paddles on the bottom. Mm-hmm. It's not like a propeller. Something like that. I, I imagine they look like duck feet. Because why wouldn't you? <laughs> so it looks like a duck on the bottom where you can't yeah! see. It. That's what you're yeah! trying to tell me. Yeah, in my world, yes, it does. Uh, so a cool little device they got going on there. Anyways, um, what else do we need to touch on here out of uh, out of this? Um, anything? Anything you guys wanted to get out here? There is a. Uh, Did you see? And I, I, you probably didn't have time to read through it. I put. I put. And I can't speak with depth and breadth on the topic mm-hmm. but there the number 14 there's a wireless mic it's like a lav mic and it can record locally and it uses you can also i think bluetooth it back to your device i'm um, capturing high quality audio it let's, uses let's load this up and see what it is you, you it uses a to... mini xlr connection Ooh, that's nice so it's a lab mic and uh so it's a, a smart lavalier mic for shooting mobile video so this is going to be more compatible with my kind of ios iphone kind of situation um if it works yes please there's a few of these because uh, I mean, they because it does odd because they have an, a video recording app that goes along with it that, mm-hmm. that makes sure that the audio is sync synchronized oh good because that's the biggest thing like my, my biggest issue has always been monitoring and uh shore actually had a few devices when we went to uh uh podcast move it last last year uh that i really liked but this is again it's like you start adding things onto your phone and it's like why don't i just buy a camera <laughs> you know because you already have because you already have i think a it's phone. the size i think it's We've the size this. like yeah. if you can create like this miniature kit yeah so it, it says it's going to be better about it and again sure has the apps too and that's going to ensure that you know you can see the waveform you see that it's recording you can hear it through the device itself sometimes there's an input which means you know if you hear it through the device it should be going through the connector ideally right um so you know it, it is it is fine for that man I, and again i i probably talk about this every year but i'm very familiar with you know hey i'm i'm dragging this big three chip three thousand dollar camera with me on these shoots for like the formula cars and everything but how many things where i'm like i don't need the zoom or anything i'm going to pull out my my that's an hd camera that i'm carrying i want to pull out my phone and while I'm holding the camera over my shoulder and just film this thing for a moment that's in front of me because I know that's going to be fun, mm-hmm. right? And it, it's kind of a tool for the job kind of situation. So so there is that kind of balance of like, hey, I have a 4K camera in my pocket. I have an HD camera here. But again, the quality is depending on the situation. So I wouldn't shoot a wrestling show with my iPhone. That doesn't work. <laughs> so Would you shoot, shoot one with a drone? I would love to. I would love to. That'd be fun. That would be fun. All the float overs. Uh, we do. We do know a couple of venues with some very high ceilings in uh, uh, Lamont Furnace that uh, could. could but be wouldn't fun. the noise be, be annoying? De- deterrent. Uh, it depends if the crowd's you, loud enough. No. But that and usually when you're grabbing the feed, the the video feed from a drone, you're not using its audio. Oh, that's feed. true. Yeah, you're yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're, yeah, you're going to mix that's, in different that's audio. That's more for post and everything. Okay. Right? Yeah. yeah, no, no, you don't. No, you don't do the audio from the drone. I can't think of anything where like the drone audio is actually used. Maybe it's a drone dragging a boom mic. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> dragging a boom and and a boom operator and, yeah. and and something like that. That'd be great. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, you know, I do for my church. I rec- I've been recording with this phone, mm-hmm. the 
pastor's sermon every week and I mm-hmm. post it to the YouTube page. And that's fine. Works great. It works that's great. fine. That's a, this is Now, great. although a little mic like this would be nice because mm-hmm. the one pastor has the great, you know, pastor voice and the other one's a little quieter. So sometimes I have to boost that audio a little bit mm-hmm. at, at the in the end. But we, we so having something like that would be nice. We, we kind of have a middle of the road. We because we're trying to future proof the church that we worked with, and we actually just got a visit from them today and about uh, helping them again. Um, it was like a, 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 a the Vixia G twenty, like the one sitting in front of we use sometimes on the show and for wrestling, the, the little one right there. Uh huh. Um, you know, a sub thousand dollar camera. Uh, we got like a decent iMac. And you know, pulled all that together, put the streaming software together for them, and they're they're it's tied into their sound system already because they already have that right to mic him up and everything. So we just brought all that together. You know, it doesn't take a whole lot on the grand screen of things, right? Yeah. So, but there's you know, in, you know, if you're a mega church, you want something more. But you know, other than that, if you're a little church on the hill, like there's a lot of options out there. Yeah, I've so. been looking at the DJI Osmo. Mm-hmm. You guys, know anything is that, about is that, that the one that follows with the wristband? It's it's got a it's got the gimbal, the three axis gimbal. Okay. Um, but they sell it in two versions. One, you you hook your phone to, and then it turns oh. your phone gimbal. This is the gimbal thing. Okay. And uh, then not, the not, other not one, a drone. Yeah, and the other one is just a little miniature camera. Mm-hmm. I've seen but the one that's ha- just but, the middle, but it camera. has. Uh, a people follow mode, which is I'm interested in because of when taping, you know, they move around. Right now, I have the camera in a spot and I just basically walk up before they start talking, hit record, mm-hmm. and then walk away. It's good. Having this little gimbal, I thought, well, I could get a little more follow going mm-hmm. and it, it might just, it just make helps it with look your a little nice. Have you ever seen the Mevo? Remember we played with that? Mm-hmm. So the Mevo is pretty cool. It's a small cylinder. Yeah. Probably a little smaller than the miniature camera up there. Yeah. Like the wise cameras. No, I thought it was bigger. No, it's hold on. I got I got a reference. Than my fo- I got a reference photo for you. Um but it has a four K camera. Micro SD. It's gonna be a small sensor, card. so it's not gonna be like yeah. the greatest four K, but, but still. But it's it's not the greatest four K, but it's it's just as good as your camera on your phone. I don't know. Mm. Pixel camera is pretty so awesome. There it is. Okay. So then they so it hooks up to Wi Fi. Okay. And then there's an app for I think iOS and Android. Oh, so you can like if direct you, from so your so chair. If you ever you see pre build you if you ever see our episode from the pod crawl that we did, where we're in a bar, yeah. it's in like some of our highlight videos. That's from Amiibo. Okay. And what you, it was you yours. Pre drag yeah, you mm-hmm. pre drag your rectangles for your screens yeah so you can do like a a pan out which is the whole thing then you can do like stage left stage right just mm-hmm. stage zoomed in you could pre-build all that okay and then it acts as a switcher oh, you can okay. live stream to facebook it records locally yeah. you, can live, like, you can live stream neither to a pastor is interested in live streaming but at least it even they want the locally. ability to mm-hmm. you know to edit yeah. yeah. So, so, but it records locally on the device too. So, if you're on video with us, if you just look at Awesome Cast Pod Crawl, uh, this is from the Mevo, and it was like a low light situation because it was a bar, right? And and I had like what it was on the phone, I think, in front wow. of me. That I think I had it on my iPad. Yeah, and there. <laughs> I say we're super <laughs> zoomed in on Doug's face there, but the, you know the idea is, you know, we, you know, it it, it actually kind of worked pretty okay. Um, and of course, I think I think we're actually you know you know what this video is kind of zoomed in because of the iPad capture. I so, think we were using a phone as a hotspot too, or something. Yeah, we? yeah, yeah. So, well, actually, I'm, I'm super zoomed in because the iPad I zoom in on to to get get rid of all the uh, uh, edges when we show websites. So it's super zoomed in for what you're seeing right now. <laughs> so uh, if you're with us, but you can see the idea uh, if you look that up. And this is from I mean this is from a couple of years ago, and we talked to one of the founders of Livestream, which is now Vimeo, by the way. And now I use that product professionally <laughs> for some of the stuff that we have going on around here, um, which is an interesting coming around to it. Uh, but uh, no, that, yeah, no, that kind of stuff is, I think, really good if you just have, you don't need angles. You just need one angle, but closer shots from that angle. Um, 
maybe not from a mile away, but you right. know, it could, it could, it, you know, like, here's a theater performance, and I just want to be able to like, uh, probably not follow, but if you have like set full stage, stage right, stage left, or this person, this person, this person, two shot here, three shot here, right? Yeah, like you could set that up mm-hmm. and do a live switch with that streaming. Or recording that. locally. Or recording locally to an SD card, which I think is what we did. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you can do whatever, you, you know, throw your logos and stuff. Do you like remember what the cost of that was? Four or five hundred dollars? Mm, I, I, I think it's down like two ninety nine now. Yeah, What's yeah. It it's not. Again? The Mevo. Mevo camera. M-E-V-O camera. I think I think I had to change the thing because I think they changed the name of it early on. I have it over here on Google Shopping, I believe. And uh, one seventy nine. Wow. You can get a used one from Borrow Lenses for fifty eight dollars. <laughs> there you go. Oh, they, they sell they sell like it would look like a Pringles can to attach the bottom that yeah. extends the battery life. It has yep. an Ethernet port like it's pretty it's pretty extensive. So hey, we do a lot of streaming around here, Chill. You know that? Do you? Do you, do you did you hear that we do streaming around here? You don't here? say out of the studio all the time. Maybe you've seen the replay feed. Maybe you've seen what's going over on uh indie wrestling.us's Twitch page. We got video happening from that computer sitting right over there all the time. And that's part of what we do here at Sidekick Media Services that runs out of Sorkshawn Media Studios. We put the multi in multimedia, and we can be the sidekick in your superhero project. We've worked with everything from Millvale Music Fest to a recent work with uh, SAE International with their uh, uh, formula and Baja competitions. We were doing live streaming just Saturday night, you guys, uh, for the awards, awards cer- ceremony from a tent in the middle of an airfield uh, <laughs> to do that. And we had, we had, geez, we had a hundred and 130 people watching uh, that feed out there, which is really good for YouTube. Um, a lot of fun stuff. We're doing podcasts. We're working with our friends at uh, innovation works on the caffeinated innovation podcast and a few other things coming up as well. Uh, a lot of fun stuff coming up, going on, find out what's going on and how we can help you out with our superhero project. And again, we're doing this every week with the awesome cast. This is the kind of stuff that applies maybe to your project. Uh, check us out. Sidekickmediaservices.com. What's up, Steve? What's up, Dave Potter? I know Steve was in there t- earlier talking about how he loves playing his NES and Super Nintendo games on an NES and a Super Nintendo. I do too, man. But sometimes it's hard to keep those up or to get those hooked in or you can only blow into the cartridge know, so many times. i literally i i i i've mentioned this before i have a room with a tube television and every pre-hd console i own like the playstation 2 xbox original nintendo dreamcast sega saturn genesis nice. with all the attachments well not all well sega cds don't work but but still like all we like to keep the purity of it but man maybe i just want to play the thing you know it, there's these other options right or maybe you have access to these abandoned games that you can't get a cartridge of you know hey have you tried getting a copy of final fantasy 7 mm, it's hard for the playstation <laughs> it's expensive right so or, or games like that um and uh also shout out to dave's uh, tiny shutter podcast i'm sure he has a lot of but we usually get a lot of uh, feedback on uh, cool things going on in photos. Also, he loves those 3D photos on Facebook. He, they pop up every once in a while on his feed. That's kind of cool to watch. So, uh, Kraus. <laughs> Crazy Kraus on the Twitter. Yep, that's With me. all the Ks. All the Ks. And uh, anything else going on with you? Are you talking about anything online? No, I'm just living the dream, you know. Just living the dream, hanging Go out on the awesome day, cast. Go home, say hi to the wife. Go to bed, get See, up the next morning. I, just in passing Start with the Start over wife. again, you know? <laughs> All right. All right. Well, good to have you back on. I'm sorry Thanks. about I'm sorry about your Android Android Q woes. Oh, it's not woes. It's not woes? I'm helping. You're helping. I'm forging the path. That's He's making right. sure it works by the time it goes. Bleeding to edge. The, the Bleeding edge. Jeez. Also, of course, John Chichilla on the Twitters. That's me. We need to schedule time because I just put a large order in for a number of uh, home automation equipment to help secure the dun, 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 Chilla dun. Tech. Oh, yeah. Household. 
So we got to definitely schedule some time. I've in traveled less, so let's do that. July or August. Let's talk about that after the show here. Um, cool thing uh, one of our partners is doing. Uh, we actually recorded this today, but it'll be released on Thursday. Go check out the Pittsburgh Current because we recorded an interview today with the with the latest 2020 presidential candidate, uh, Joe Sestak. Today. Wow. So Admiral hmm. Joe Sestak. Uh, so go check it out. It was a really good conversation. Uh, that is going to be released at 10 a.m. on Thursday. Also, keep an eye out. There might be an article in advance over on Pittsburgh Current's website. Uh, so go check that out. Uh, really cool thing. And, of course, check out all of our friends, including Bold Pittsburgh, Bold Pittsburgh Sports, um, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the Bardic Mystery Tour, uh, the Thrifty Podcast. They're doing all kinds of stuff. He was doing stuff in California thrifting. Um, also, if it's still open, I, I, I'm so sorry I haven't mentioned this yet, uh, but vote for them in the city paper, um, Best Podcast, because uh, they're a nominee over there, of course. And I, I might be too late. I apologize if that's the case. Um, and all the rest of our great podcast friends on the network uh, doing a lot of great stuff, Fishing Without Bait, Wrestling Mayhem Show, and all the like. So with that, thank you. Thank you, Producer Missy. Thank you, Michael, for hanging out. Hey, there you go. I hope, you, I hope you learned something out of all this mess. Uh, and uh, thank you, uh, the audience. You've been our autumn, autumn, autumn? No, awesome. summer. Awesome. Our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.